Yes, thank you. <laughs> I can hear you now. So, uh, good morning, Leah, and uh, how is everything so far? Everything is going well, very busy. So, so well, welcome back and also congrat sure. congratulations. Uh, how thank does you. it feel after winning a tough race? Well, I feel very grateful that the voters in Massachusetts uh, heard my message and voted for me for the lieutenant governor's race. And I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to continuing to spread my message of um, freedom and economic stability to the people of Massachusetts. Look like somebody wants to do the interview for you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that is my daughter in the back. <laughs> well, that's 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 the next Leah Hallen. Who knows? You know, ready to <laughs> ready to explode. Thank you. So um, November eighth is around the corner, and uh, are you planning any debate with your opponent? So I believe that we will have a debate um, on WBUR. And I'm not sure exactly what the date is, but yes, there there will be one lieutenant governor's debate. Okay, so Leah, fait nous connaît que le débat il vient pour le faire quand même avec candidat qui en face Leah, donc il a planifié jusqu'à présent. Uh, do you believe Kim Driscoll's experience as a mayor will be an indicator of how she's going to be a leader as a lieutenant governor? Yes, I, well, I think that she has a distinctive style of governing, and that is to. Um, put her judgment in the place of the people of Massachusetts, and she would rather tell people how to live their lives than just to allow them to make decisions that best uh, serve themselves and their families. And I think we saw that um, with her response to the pandemic, and we saw that with her requiring high schoolers to get the COVID vaccine in order to play sports, uh, because it put their parents in a difficult position to either tell them that they couldn't play a sport that they loved or they had to take the vaccine under uh, Kim Driscoll's orders. So I think that's a that's a very telling uh, example of the way she would govern if elected. Okay. But from your point of view, what makes you different? How can you se separate yourself from your opponent? Yes. So I'm a registered nurse. I'm a wife. I'm a mother of two young children. Uh, I have been I have experience in politics, but I also have experience in the private sector, whereas my opponents, they have served in government for decades now. And I think that that proves them to be a little bit out of touch with the people of Massachusetts. Um, they don't understand the struggle that people are going through paying for groceries, trying to pay for gas, paying for their, their um, families. And that puts me in a unique perspective where I bring this experience from my background, as well as someone who worked at a hospital who had a regular job, and I can speak to the issues that are affecting the people of Massachusetts. So, Lea Allen Kakui pour Massachusetts, Lieutenant Governor, nous connaît que lycée, yon registré de nurse qui travaille dans l'hôpital et il pas. Et c'était un avocat et aussi. Ah, attends. She hasn't been a lawyer and a mayor for the last 16 years. So, I think that the judgment of the Massachusetts is that you don't need a government that can implicate, that can involve in every aspect of the life of the world. The family is the one who has to take a decision for no. It's not the one who can tell what they have to do. But do you believe your opponent is experienced enough to represent the commonwealth interests, such as family needs, infrastructure, and bringing resources back to our communities? Yes, uh, I think uh, I, I definitely answered that already in the beginning, but I think that being in government for a mm -hmm. it clouds their vision, it clouds their judgment, and they seem to think that the best way to move forward is to always take more money from the businesses and the taxpayers to fund these things. I always like to say that Massachusetts doesn't have a uh, revenue problem, we have a spending problem. And we need to look at the way that we're spending money and make sure that we're not wasting it and we're putting it uh, where it needs to go to serve things like infrastructure and the needs of families. And I, do, I think we can do that without continuing to raise taxes and fees on people. Voilà, Léa fait nous connaître que nous besoin une nouvelle vision pour Massachusetts, cap euh, et créer un moment, créer une façon pour conserver l'argent. Et je crois que Massachusetts a un problème de spending, ce n'est pas, pas euh, un problème de revenus. 
eh bien, c'est ça qui fait lui-même avec vision que le gagnant cap meilleur pour Massachusetts pour Massachusetts avancer. Why is it important for you to follow up this time I'm talking about my Haitian community to follow up with the Haitian communities? Why is it important? Well, yes. Well, I think for too long the Democrat Party has taken for granted that they um, received a vote from, for instance, the Haitian population, and this time and we're looking to do more outreach to show that we have a better vision for the future of Massachusetts. We have one that is focused on faith and family and freedom and something that can change everybody's lives for the better. Uh, and also, of course, the Haitian community is an important part of our state. We have um, the Haitian people that work in every sector. We're going to have to work together to make Massachusetts better. And it's important that we reach out to these communities and we all work together to, to share our common goal of, of making Massachusetts better for everyone. Well, et Léa fait nous connaître que la communauté haïtienne, c'est une partie très importante pour l'État de Massachusetts. Là. Et il croit que le partager et, et, et strong family et, et fef et foi que vous gagnez dans la valeur ça que vous mettez dans les affaires gouvernement qui pourrait créer un better accountable government. C'est un gouvernement qui qui a aller pour nous tous en général. Donc, si longtemps, la démocratie est, 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 prend pour granted des votes, euh, votes de, de plusieurs euh, communautés haïtiennes et les mêmes comme républicains et les quoi que avec message positif que la poté by communauté a et li, la continuer fait outreach et, pour capable et, et avec changement positif dans la communauté a. But the prochaine question c'est the next question how can the Asian community assist you moving forward and what challenge do you face regarding your opponent? So I think the best referral is word of mouth. So if someone listening to your great station hears our message and, and thinks that it would make life better for them, then spread the word to your family, to your friends, talk about it with the people that you go to church with. Um, we have a lot facing us this November, and if we don't all work together to make Mm -hmm. Donc, euh, et, et, par contre, si c'est son qui allait, you there, Léa? Donc, il était traduit ça, Léa, dit rapidement, et me demande, Léa, c'est comment la communauté haïtienne est capable d'assister euh, Léa pour aller et, et, et vers l'avant, et qui genre de challenge que Léa pensait que le cas rencontré et face à opponent par là? Eh bien, Léa, fait qu'on est, Pigo Bagala, c'est des word of mouth. C'est une nouvelle là, qui peut passer entre ou même et l'autre ami qui peut faire mon yo connaît de lui-même. Si que autant des familles avec des amis qui ne pas content de ce qui a privé dans cette tête là, eh bien, ou doit parler avec eux et dire yo que il y a une autre option. So, Lea, I don't know if you're back. If the signal is there? I think she's there. Oh, she's there. Can you hear us? Ok. I can see you. Ok, ok. Oh, I sorry. So, you know, I'm trying to. Um, Speak two languages, though. If uh, there is a third community, I will have to speak three, too. You know, I'm trying my <laughs> best. Yeah. So, so how do you feel about the current administration's actions against individual rights? When, when I'm talking about individual rights, I mean medical rights. And also the second amendment, guns rights. Leah. All right, give her a quick second uh, as the signal I, went I in and out. Signal, yes, uh, she probably on the road, though. That might be the reason why the yeah. signal keep cutting off. But hopefully, yeah, yeah. She, hopefully she will be back and uh, we can keep going. We got about 11 minutes left for the interview. And if you just join us, I'm telling you that uh, we have right now uh, on Zoom, Leah Allen, who is a candidate to become Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts. The election is for November 8th. November 8th, I hope all of you, you know, registered in order to do your civic duty to participate in elections. That's what counts in USA. If you don't like something, V-O-T-E, vote. That's the main thing that can bring change. You see, that's what counts. America is democracy. You don't need gun to bring, <laughs> to make people vote like I seen the other day in the country. I don't want to say the name. But uh, yeah. they, they have to carry guns to make people come out, come out, go, because we got to annex a place. Nah -uh. America, that's what America is strong. You don't like something, there is an option, always. But you have to uh, use uh, your vote in order to be part of it and uh, to make the changes. So, um, uh, uh, so 
What yes. her while she's dealing with that, we can truly uh, it's very important to understand. You have to know what the candidate stands for. That's right. These are the times to get involved. These are the times to ask questions. Yes. So because, if, yeah, if it's she, very important nowadays. If she's back, I don't know. If she's back, eh. if not, then I'll just wrap it up with you. Okay. Right. I know tech, technology nowadays, it, it goes in and out. It's pretty tough. Yes, things like that. Well, I think um, we're talking about the Asian communities and things that uh, she can, how can how she's going to move forward and what challenge uh, she's going to face. So I think um, she answered most of uh, the questions that I, have, that I have, even though I got about two or three in order to fill up uh, you know, the 10 minutes. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, are she's there. Let's see if she's, Leah, can you hear us? Yeah, she, she's, uh, she's getting there. And we can see, um, uh, my question was about how does she feel? Comment sentit the, 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 the administration ça concernant les droits, droits individuels? So, um, uh, if um, she can answer it, because uh, I think I can uh, wait for her for a few seconds and see if she can make it, because, you know, the signal is pretty tough where she is right now. So, yeah. uh, uh, Marvin, so what do you think? So, let me say in English and I'll say in Haitian girl. So, what happened is she was a nurse and she understands about rights. Uh, give me one. Oh, if she wants to, she can finish the interview by uh, calling the radio now at 781-961-8930. She doesn't need to be on the Zoom. And we can carry the message, the rest of the interview. Marvin? You want to text her, you know, um, the number at 781-961-8930. We can finish uh, the interview via, via, via the telephone. That's uh, much better for her. She doesn't need the internet in order to uh, make the phone call. So we got about eight minutes left, and uh, I just want her to finish the interview. So there are many ways we can do the interviews by phone, via Zoom. It's another thing. Yes, that's very important. And also uh, live. So... Let me know if you want to call the radio now, Marvin. So we can uh, finish the interview. Si vous n'avez pas la République Dominicaine, 849, 943, 56, 43. Et ou même qui n'a États-Unis, 360, 398, 43, 49. Écoutez-nous tous sous Alexa. Amen. Téléphone radio à 781-961-8930-781-961-6049. Radio Téléplanète Compare. Dans le monde entier. Oui, nous dans le monde entier. Et pas oublié, ma pour rappeler où que Wallon pour élection 8 novembre, non, et venir avec candidat, yo, parler avec eux, et puis faire voter autant de et voyons. Et ensuite, comme euh, l'a dit tout, et autant de les affaires qu'on est, ils ont l'autre option, et ça fait. Plus vous tendez, plus it's better for you. Et Radio Télé Planète Compagne, nous avons un nouveau téléphone pour vous tendez Radio A. Nous avons un nouveau numéro, c'est 518 906 15 21. Il y a un nouveau numéro pour l'audio maintenant. Vous pouvez écouter sur la radio où vous êtes. 518 906 1521. Et aussi en ligne, planetcompa.com. Vous pouvez voir nous live. On your TV via Woku. If you get the Woku on TV already, or if you <coughs> go and buy that at uh, Best Buy or Walmart, the Woku, go to search, type Planet, P L A N E T, space, compare, C O M P S. De pour taper Planet, espace, compare, et puis vous pouvez nous sous grand écran. Um, Marvin, um, can she call? Can she call in, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's, I got her on the phone here. Can you say hi, Leah? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see if we, we can... Uh, Leah, you can hear me now? Can she? Yeah, she can hear you. All oh, right, but me, I, can, I cannot hear you. I hear your voice. Oh, okay, okay. Can she call the radio at 781? All right, let me text it to her so yeah, she can yeah, do Yeah, go this. ahead, because we got six minutes. Seven, seven, eight, eight, one. seven eight one. Seven eight one. Nine six one. Nine six one. Eight nine. Three zero. Eight. Seven eight one nine six one eight nine three zero. All right, she'll be calling you momentarily. There we go. I know it's her. I know it's uh, uh, Leah. Welcome back. Hi, 
I'm so sorry. So that's okay. Don't worry. But there are many ways we can do the, the interview. We can do it via phone. You know that. That's what uh, used to be there in the past before Zoom came in, you know? Okay. Mm-hmm. We can do it via Zoom. There's so many ways. So it's much better. So we hear your voice the same way as we heard that in Zoom. So we were talking about the question I, I had on the air uh, before, you know, the connection uh, cut off. So um, how do you feel about the current administration's actions against individual rights? Uh, talking about medical rights and the Second Amendment gun rights. How do you feel about that? Well, I definitely feel that the administration was disappointing when they implemented their vaccine mandates and people lost their jobs over that. And, of course, I think we always need to protect the Second Amendment. We're very lucky in this country to have that, and it always needs to be protected. But I think also something that we need to keep on our radar is our um, our right to privacy when it comes to our personal technology on our, our cell phones and our emails and things like that. And I think um, vaccine passports is one of the things that would really intrude on that privacy and can lead to a lot of um, very bad outcomes if we if we don't keep an eye on that and make sure that those rights aren't being infringed on. Donc, euh, comme vous avez dit, Léa Fanon, elle était déçue de ce que la administration Baker a implémenté à faire de euh, vaccine mandate. So, dit quoi que comme pays, nous sommes réellement chanceux pour nous gagner un deuxième euh, amendement et nous devons qu'un deuxième amendement. Donc, dans la société que nous avons, le droit médical, il euh, croit que son droit que euh, nous devons maintenir dans la société qui fuit, so, nous croyons que euh, tout le monde doit travailler pour qu'un bébé doit ça. From your experience, from your previous experience, can you tell us why medical rights and, make, and making sure that your rights are protected and why is, is it so important? Well, I think anytime you have people in power who are requesting to see your medical paperwork in order for you to operate in society in your own country, that's a red flag for me for overstep of government authority. And if they can control what they force you to put into your body, then they're, they have basic control. And every person should have the right to decide what's best for them. And one of the cornerstone of medical ethics that I learned in nursing school is everyone has the right to informed consent and the right to refuse, and we need to respect that. That's right. But do you believe the Democrats have the best interest in Massachusetts to represent everyone and follow the Constitution? I think for the past at least 20 years that the Democrat Party has been changing, and they've gone very far to the left, and I think they no longer represent most people in Massachusetts, but most people are so busy working and taking care of their families that they haven't realized just how far left the Democrat Party has gone. So I think that it's time in Massachusetts that we try something different. We've had Democrat supermajorities in Massachusetts for many years now, and we have high cost of living, high cost of, of um, inflation, and people ha- having trouble with their having their rights upheld. So I think that it's time in Massachusetts that we take a different direction and try something new that's going to make Massachusetts freer and and uh, more prosperous for everyone. And um, if someone wants to have contact with the head, your headquarters, if uh, somebody wants to help regarding, uh, with that, regarding keeping signs on the street, holding signs, and want to be a part of, uh, of volunteering for your campaign, uh, wh- how the person can contact, uh, contact you? Yes, so uh, we have a website for Jeff Deal, who is running for governor, and myself, and that is D-I-E-H-L Allen, A-L-L-E-N dot com. Okay. Let me repeat again your website. It's uh, L-E-A-L-E-A-H, right? Allen? Yeah, so if you go, yeah. Leah Cole Allen.com. Okay. So, okay. So do you have uh, fundraising uh, coming up or what things do you have? Do I have what? Do you have fundraising coming up? Oh, yes. So uh, we'll be in the Worcester area tonight and then wow. um, we have some fundraisers coming up this week. If you go to the website, it will have our calendar. Okay, you get all the be. informations. Well, 52 yeah. seconds left and uh, if I... Uh, if you have something else to say that uh, I didn't ask you any question about it, so what uh, could it be? Well, I just want to thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity to have my message 
um, get out there to your listeners, and I hope that um, that my message has resonated with some people out there that want something better for their themselves and their families and their future of their children. And the only way we can do that is to get good, um, honest leadership in Beacon Hill. And Jeff Deal and I are the ones who are going to be fighting for families, fighting for a lower cost of living, and making sure that everyone has a bright future here in Massachusetts. So I thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Leah and uh, Leah Allen. I wish you uh, good luck, and hopefully we uh, talk again in the future before November 8. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wap Koute, Radio Télé Planète Compa, sous 89.3 FM, dans Boston, Matapen, Hyde Park, Milton, Rosendale, Dorchester.